Oh, hello! Really, really good. That looks so tempting. Excuse me, you're coming to work. You can work. <laughs> Sounds a bit more us. Yeah, you are sick. Good morning and welcome to Istanbul. Good morning guys. Today we'll do our DIY food tour. As you probably know, Turkish cuisine offers so many varieties and it's just massive. So sometimes I think our eyes are bigger than belly. Straight away here yeah, there's so much, so much variety, so much choice. Like the streets are just littered with cuisine shops aren't they? Yeah. So we've decided we're not going for the traditional Turkish breakfast. Instead we're just going to go and pick up what, feel, what sounds a bit more us. Yeah, you are sick. Thank you very they much. Come, they come. I feel like I would spend here whole night. <laughs> you could. You try everything on the menu. Yeah, like each other. If it was up to her, she would eat everything on this menu. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, tell me now, Patricia. What did you order? So, we've got the pita, if I pronounce this right, with a mint meat, and we have an egg with sausage. Yeah, it's like Aston omelette, but it's different. They call it Sukumarka. Name on the screen. Great pronunciation. I don't think so. It's either pita or pide. Pronounced as pide, I think. Almost a yes. looks like pizza, like a like boat shaped pizza. So we went for the minced meat or minced beef option. Really nice. Does it taste like pizza? Kind of. I'm not gonna lie. It is very much like pizza. We got a little bit of minced meat. The cheese is lovely. Yeah, got a bit of a crunch to it as well. Nice, thin and crispy pizza. Oh my god. That's got full of flavour. I think that's a good choice. For a breakfast option, the omelette. And I think omelette with cheese, the cheese, whatever they're using, wow, that's so good. What have we got here, babe? Apparently, a fresh one. Yeah, it's a baklava and a tea. Another tea. So, lovely chap, highly recommend it. Tasty, that baklava was super, super sweet, but it's like glazed, like sugar glazed. Yeah. And then the inside is just very light, but it's like poppy seed. Yeah. I liked it. The joys of Istanbul. It is crowded everywhere, everywhere you go. Like, today is an exception, it's pretty quiet. But, uh, yeah, you can easily get run over here. It's beautiful though, beautiful weather. We've decided, because we're on the north side of the island, we're gonna try some more baklava. We didn't anticipate or expect the gift we got given at breakfast time. Yeah. So, we're gonna try some proper baklava from a proper store which specializes in it. And this store is very, very famous here, going yeah. Oh, don't That's what we are going to do. Clover time. Yo, yeah, popular. You have to admit, it is crazy here. Yeah. It's crazy busy, so it's got to be good. We just paid and we are waiting for two Yeah, we don't know if we're doing anything right there. Let's go all slow. Okay, so we just came out of that store. Really, really cool. Kind of a weird experience. So if you're staying inside, you basically know what you're getting. When you're taking takeaway and the queue line is massive, I just pass the receipt and you're still queuing and it's just they, basically put in the box. Yeah, they give you whatever they want to give you. Yeah, I've just been given what they have. So we decided to just take a little sit here against the waterfront. Our diddy box of baklava. They are very popular because they are running the business since 1843, so they know what they are talking about. Yeah, if they've been running that long, that means they must be doing something right. The only other little green one is full of pistachio as well, like all of them. Wow, this is even better. The little tiny pieces of pistachio, it's like a cream, like a mousse inside, but it's so... Donkey. So can you see so many pistachios? Oh my god, this will be my favorite. That you get actually chunks of pistachios. Turkish baklava. Yes or no? Definitely yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, come on the board. You can work. <laughs> Go. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Yes, nice. 
strength. Yeah. <laughs> Patricia's just had some lesson on how to squeeze oranges. <laughs> you know? Okay, I must say it was quite difficult because you have to pull it the lever down and it quite it's you need a good muscle. But it was so nice of him, so Yeah, lovely gentleman, lovely. Turkish people are in general very, very nice. Thank you. So we just came to a place called, I think, called Mandelbad. Mass. This place. <laughs> the coffee foam here is so dense that buffalo can stand on it without sinking. That's what. Wow. That's how the saying goes here. Anyway. And we said medium sugar, so we'll see how sweet it is. Believe it or not, even though it does not come in the traditional cup, yes. this place is renowned for being the best of the best. Okay. Or from a carton, from a plastic, you know. It's very hygienic. Yeah. Now let's try this lovely coffee. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm from the UK. That's only for the tea. So it goes back down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So it's nowhere near as sweet as I was expecting. I would say this is more manageable than the first one we yeah. ever tried. Yeah, and surprisingly, I, I believe Turkish coffee contains less caffeine in it than traditional espresso houses. If you really? Like that, yeah. So you can drink more of this. By the way, where you just paid in that little office, that was the original office, if you wish to say. When they made the coffee since 1967. 1967. And they accept cards. Marvelous. Completely change of plan. We are not having a dinner kebab. We're just having some kind of. No, it's, it's like a donut, it's yeah. not a meat, but it's like in a pit of bread, comes with fries, comes with a Coca-Cola, it costs what? 39. 39 Turkish lira, mm -hmm. which is pretty cheap, as well. and two then, pounds. Yes, and the most surprise for me was just the jacket potato. Yes. Yes. What was the name of the jacket potato? We put it on the screen. <laughs> but it looks amazing. It looks amazing, you and get seven toppings, yeah. and it just it looks amazing. And it's amazing. <laughs> Very good. Oh, very spicy. <laughs> Found a seat with a better view. Oh my god, I need that and the seat. What did you get, babe? She's taking a bite already. <laughs> I was going to take a bite. We actually stopped and the, like a street vendor, he had so many these rolls. Like they look like bagels. I think they call it a simit. Simit. They call it simit. Yeah. Simit. And it's inexpensive. It costs like three point fifty Turkish lira, which is like sixteen p, mm -hmm. sixteen seventeen pence. It's nice. Nice. It's a roll. It's a bread roll. It's a seeded bread roll, but you can get with Nutella. You can get with cheese. You can get with many other things. And like I said, the price isn't too much more, it's like a Turkish lira or two more than just this one for 350. Mm. So yeah, either nice. way, cheap, effective and does the job. Now we are heading on, we've got other places to see. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've been wanting to try these roasted nuts. Sounds wrong <laughs> for so long. <laughs> so we've got a bag. I actually don't know how many you get. It's just 100 grams, so you get quite a few. How many did you but get in the bag? You can, can you see in the bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they look like this, and they are so hard. So I would just grab one. <laughs> I've never had them before, so I presume we just get, what, you peel them? Oh my god, it tastes like potato. <laughs> <laughs> so the roasted chestnuts, according to Patricia, taste like potatoes. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. It's a, the consistency is like potato. Oh, the it consistency? Is, yeah. Okay, so Patricia convinced me that I must try for the vlog myself. Although, personally, I didn't really want to. I'm not a huge nutty person. Like, that's what it looks like. You say it's like potato, I say it's like fried chicken. <laughs> oh my god. 
So if you're around guys and you never try, try it for yourself and leave us a comment. What do you think? How does it taste? Tell us if we're right or wrong. Yeah, we're probably wrong. <laughs> so good. Highly recommend it, yeah. Oh, I could eat all these all day, every day. No, I'm only joking, I would not litter. Okay, we're gonna go try something else. I don't know what, but we're gonna go try it, won't we? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I went for something very sweet. It's supposed to be really, really good. We got the magnolia here. Interested in this. Traditional tea. I went for coffee. That looks so tempting. Try. It's not bad, but actually next time I will go for the, the let's call it the wrap. So what do we go for, Patricia? Well, I got the wrap. I want the wrap and I got the wrap. And it's little chicken. It's super hot. It smells lovely. And I went for beef kebab. That's all they say, it's <laughs> beef kebab. I don't know what it actually is, but it's got lots of greenery, it's got lots of colour, it looks huge. I know there's rice, there's all sorts going on, so I'm going to try it. It all looks like it just came right off the grill. Super impressed. Wow. Mm. So much better than the last one. So, so much better. <laughs> Good choice then. The pizza wrap, really, really good. The flavors were just. The flavor is just amazing. So much and, better. And the variety, you get so much to choose from. And the thing is, I said to them, we're coming back tomorrow because you've got a liver. I never had a wrap with liver, so that's what I'm going for. Yeah, so off camera, we, we found our favorite spot. You'll call me crazy, but this is the best brownie I ever had. And it's in a packet, and it's so cheap, so yes, I've got stash of them. <laughs> I went from one shop to another because they, they've got them on offer, and the other shop they were empty, so I grabbed whatever they had left here. And the coffee, the coffee is good here, and it's cheap as well, so yeah, I've got stashed. This is the number one thing you've got to be eating. Best quality packaged brownie you'll ever get. This is a bit of a weird one, but we're going to throw this into the food vlog. <laughs> if you guys are wondering what we snack on, or what you should snack on, Definitely the brownie. You will thank us. <laughs> this place is wow, stunning. Patricia took us to this evening bar, which is up above, by the way, above here. And like 1996 or something, Patricia was telling me they just, I don't know why, but they started excavating and digging. They found like the whole remains, well, part of the remains of the old Constantinople, the old city, like the old Roman city. It's just amazing. Imagine being the owner of a cafe or re slash restaurant bar and then you just stumble upon this. Cha-ching! <laughs> it's a tourist trap without a shadow of a doubt but it's well worth it and you get a full belly at the same time. It was actually documented on the History Channel wasn't it babe? Yeah. Cities of the Underworld. Check it out on YouTube, the History Channel and that is what this place is. It's astonishing isn't it? It's amazing. Massive. We're gonna end the episode here for the food vlog. We hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Stick around. Tomorrow we will be doing a whole sightseeing tour vlog and after that we are heading to the UAE. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. And we thought we ended up here in the Great Palace. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah.